Hello there and welcome to my channel Novice Modelling and the Midlife Crisis. My name's Andy and today I'm going to do you a quick what's in the box kit review on my Airfix 172 D-Day 60th Anniversary set which is kit number 10300. Now I recently bought this off um, eBay for around about £65 with the postage and as we can see it's the 60th anniversary set um, we're coming up to uh, June 6th and obviously uh, it's 80 years since D-Day so as we can tell this is 20 years old and scale mates tells me that this first kit was indeed first released in 2004 now there is actually a replacement set available for this by Airfix which commemorates 75 or 80 years depending on which one you get of D-Day and that one is floating around there also so obviously the kits might vary and they do actually vary quite considerably from kit to kit but uh, let's uh, get ahead and let's get the box open and see what I've got in mine now as we can see we get this nice little uh, Airfix issue 1 Overlord 6th of June 1944 which is basically essentially a uh, sort of reproduction uh, newspaper for us to read to give us some basic information on what's going on I'm not going to bother reading that out because I'm sure you guys are all pretty much aware of what actually happened on this particular day um, as you can see as per usual I've actually uh, acquired myself some uh, beverages to help me along the building process uh, first off we've got the instruction manual which strangely actually says Hella at the top and has a different uh, kit number 52604 um, this is because this uh, kit was released in conjunction with Hella um, basically there are Hella ones available out there uh, they aren't as numerous it appears as the Airfix kit uh, like I said this one cost me about £65 with the postage the only Hella complete Hella kit I've been able to find is going for about £100 on eBay so um, if I were you I'd get the Airfix one because there are a few of them and it is it is going for around about the same sort of price as I paid so in the uh, instruction book you can see we get a whole bunch of uh, decals which are American and German obviously so we get them they look all to be in similar in reasonably good condition we've got our instruction kit which is basically a compendium of instructions for all the various items that we have in the kit so there's not they're all pretty basic kits so i mean it's all going to be reasonably easy to find i'm not particularly into 172 scale but this is what's available to commemorate d-day so the uh first item we can have a look at is this one is going to be the lcm mark three landing craft and as we can see, that comes with a base unit for the boat, comes with sides, comes with a couple of crew members, a little um, wheelhouse and various other parts. All these are actually sealed in the bag, so no one's actually touched it. We have two bags of American infantry. Uh, they do appear to be different sets. Obviously, one of them, as you can see, comes with this rubber dinghy. I'm pretty sure not many of the um, the US uh, Army uh, approach the D-Day coast in rubber dinghies, but we got a rubber dinghy anyway. And we get a whole bunch of other guys in this bag. We also get two bags of German infantry. I'm not exactly sure what the actual kit, the actual figure count is, but I'm thinking it's about four. I'm thinking it's about 40 per bag because there's four sprues and it looks to be about 10, 10, 10, 10 air figures per. So we get about 80 figures by the look of it. So that's pretty good. We've got a little uh, club airfix. Uh, join the official airfix club for $12.99 a year. Pretty sure it costs a bit more than that these days. Uh, we get a German 88mm anti-tank gun with a FAMO artillery tractor so that's a nice little kit and as we can see the tracks are to be added 
They look quite nicely detailed. The tire the wheels are quite nicely detailed. It comes with a couple of crew members. So we get that one. We get a, let me just consult my notes here, a GMC CCKW353 truck with some um, windows, clear plastic parts. Again, looks pretty, pretty well detailed to me. Pretty easy to go together. Crew member there as well. We also get a DUKW Amphibian, which is, well, it's basically a truck that's also a boat. So we get one of those. That's an interesting little kit. We get a Sherman tank. Now I built a um, Airfix Sherman the other day. Sherman Firefly, and this doesn't appear to be quite as well detailed as that one, but obviously this is a 20 year old kit, so we are gonna get some variances. Here we have the uh, Willys Jeep and trailer. With a couple of crew members again. There's the trailer part that we can see there and the bucket for the trailer. And again, we've got our uh, clear plastic parts for the windows. This one also comes with a rather basic looking German ME109. So we can have that displayed attacking our forces as they land on the beach. I'm not too sure how accurate that is. I mean, seem to remember there was a, a film called The Longest Day saying that basically there was hardly any German air support for the um, Germans at D-Day. But we get that as well. And we also get the prized item, which is the... German fort with its well it's got some guns on it that pretty much look like they come out of the battleship Tirpitz so I'm not quite sure how uh, accurate something like that is it's not really accurate to what I've videos that I've seen of uh, D-Day but it's a really really interesting addition so we get that and I've got a bag of 20 year old paints and glues and a rather nasty looking paintbrush so uh, I'm going to kind of guess that these um Paints are beyond salvage. Now, as you can see, as previously when I do these things, I do actually like to have a little drink. So I've got myself some genuine French Sassy Cidre, batch number four from year 2022. So I've got a nice two-year-old 12 bottles of this. It cost about 30 quid. So I'm quite looking forward to trying that. I've also got some Pacori Normandy Pear Cider. Oh, incidentally... This is from Normandy also, so we are staying in theme. It's not just French, it is Normandy. And we've got some Père Poire d'Enfront. Uh, again, this is cider. And yes, it's got French writing on the back, so that means it must be made in France. We've also got Pacori Le Cidre, uh, Brut et Fermier, which again, this is just standard apple cider. That looks rather nice. And we do actually have ourselves a bottle of Calvados. Calvados being a typical traditional Normandy drink, which is a, uh, well, basically it's apple brandy. Hmm, apple brandy, yum, yum. Now, the only thing, the main difference that I can see between this and the current Airfix offering, which is, um, let me just have a look here. The current Airfix kit you can buy is A50162A, which is released in the past five years and re-released this year, is you do actually get a diorama base with that particular kit. There is no diorama base with that, so you can weigh that up two ways. And obviously the diorama, the diorama base is only going to be the size of the box. So it is kind of limited in its usability when you're getting so many kits. Everything's going to be very cluttered and very together. So, I mean, getting that, I don't really consider it to be that much of a big deal. Um, I've actually got these things, which uh, came with a recent delivery of beer off uh, Amazon. I've got four of these, and I'm kind of thinking that if I was to sort of pop your mache into these gaps here, they'd actually make pretty good cliff uh, tops for my um, coastal fort to go on. So I've got four of those, and I've got a space which is sort of six foot by four foot that I can put a top on, 
And I could actually probably make myself a pretty cool diorama with a few of these in the background with my coastal fort and my um oh yeah my troops on it on it as well so there we go we've also got a few other plans to uh, keep us going over the next 10 days because i'm off for 10 days and uh, we've actually acquired not one of these uh, new issue d-day assaults but two of them and um, i can confirm that the uh, the items in the current offering are slightly better quality um however let's just say the base that you get is not exactly great so i'm not that bothered like i said about not getting that so i've got two of them to play with and because i'm drinking uh calvados at some point i thought i might as well have a go at mini arts 135 38071 calvados sellers which uh is an interesting little uh side project so there's plenty going to be going on on my channel over the next 10 days. So uh, please do like and subscribe. Um, I will do a kit review in a couple of days when I get to start this one. Um, because the um, LCVP, the, um, the amphibious... Um, the troop transport there is actually represented in both kits. It's, and the Jeep, obviously, with the trailer. We can actually sort of compare the two, one from 20 years ago and one from the current offering, and see just how better the quality is. But um, having done a quick um, look at what you actually get with the new D-Day kit, you do actually get more stuff with this one. I actually count 13 items in this kit compared to 11, including our pretty probably pretty naff diorama base, in the new kit which goes to around about the same sort of price so you have to sort of weigh the two up as to i suppose which one's better value for money you know you get more kits with this one as you do to, to the new one but the quality is probably going to be better on the new one so that's something to think about they do pretty much cost about the same price so anyway yeah uh, thanks for joining me on my little uh, kit review today and um, i'll be seeing you later on with some uh, I'm going to do some building, I suppose, and we'll see how we go. So please do like and subscribe and join me for my model building ride. Whether I actually get all this finished by June the 6th is quite debatable. If you watched my um, previous attempt at building lots of things rapidly, which I called uh, Land of the Rise and Sun Week, which was a load of um, Japanese aircraft, we really, really didn't do very well. In fact, we still actually haven't really finished our aircraft off from that, and that was about three weeks ago. But these are a bit more simple. They're only really one colour. So hopefully we might get most of the way there in the next six days. So uh, thanks for joining me. I'll be seeing you.